Okay, here you see me controlling uh, the Scratch Cat with a TO application. Uh, I've built a Scratch OSC bridge that can let you send OSC data to Scratch and you can download that bridge for Mac, Windows and Linux. Um, and it also lets you send OSC data from Scratch so you can communicate two directions. In this tutorial I will tell you how to connect between Scratch and the OSC bridge. I will open the Scratch OSC bridge program. And here I get the message that Scratch is not connected yet with Scratch OSC Bridge. What I have to do is I go to Sensing and I right click uh, the sensor value here. And I have to enable remote sensor connections. Remote sensor connections enabled. And if I go to the Scratch OSC Bridge, I will see that the OSC Bridge is connected with Scratch. Next thing what I want to do is I want to listen to my OSC sending device and I will use the TO pad and what I have to select is the OSC port where I want to listen to and TO normally uses the port of 3333. Good, I've selected that and I know now that it's listening for OSC data on that port. So if I start my TO application I get this pop-up to accept incoming network connections. I want that, I can change that in the firewall. And here I see directly that there are some OC addresses received. Uh, however, nothing is sent to Scratch yet. I need to select which address I want to send to Scratch because uh, sometimes you have applications with lots of addresses and that's too much data to uh, receive in Scratch. So uh, this is kind of a selection. Good, I select this one. And now you see that there are sensor updates sent to Scratch with TO data. Well, this is just some alive message, but if I put my finger on a touchpad and move around, you see lots of values uh, coming out. Well, you can study the whole TO protocol to check what it is, but uh, I know already what I have to get out of this. If I switch now to Scratch, um, I want to listen for that data. And if I get, for example, a sensor value block, I see already this data here, what I can select. Well, I know that the third value is actually the X value and the Y value of my hand is four. Now I want to use those values to control the scratch cat. I will make two variables also to make the um, values visible. X position and I position. And I can show you directly uh, what's the incoming data and use a forever block to update everything. So now if I touch my device. Oh, there's a mistake. I have to set the eye position. So now I have these numbers. Good. I need to convert this to the range to move the cat. Well, I get another background to show you the values that Scratch uses. Here you see that uh, the center of the stage is zero. And on the X position, I have a value of minus 240 till 240. And on the I position, I have a scale of minus 180 till 180. So I need to convert those incoming data to those values to move the cat. So I will build a formula. In the minus block I will need. And 480 for the X position minus 240 and of course I need to put the exposition in that one so okay and I can duplicate this one 360 minus 180 don't forget to put the I position here I can set the variable again to this value if I want. Uh, I can also put it directly to the X position. So 
we'll do that now. And I do this one. Good. Okay, and now I have already the connection set up. Well, actually, this is it. Well, uh, what you also can do is actually send data from scratch, so send OSC data. So I can give you a quick example on that. Actually, it will listen to all variables starting with a slash. So if I say like, okay, I want to update the position uh, to and to send it to OSC data, I can say like I make a variable and I call that one x position. Pay attention, I start this with a slash. So this is the slash x position. And I will send set that to the current x position. Here I can get it. Okay. So now I update this vari variable. And if I go back to the scratch grid, you will see that it sends now an OSC message. It starts always with scratch, x position, and then the x position. Now it's sending it to the local host. The output port is 9000. And um, yeah, the prefix is scratch, but I can uh, I can also change this, for example, to scratch cat. And now the address prefix is scratch cat exposition. Well, that's about it. Have fun with it. And please let me know if you make some fun applications with this. Thank you.